Hey now, welcome back to Lone Star Mini Restoration. Now I finally get to separate the engine block from the transmission. All right, so before, before I separate the two, what I want to do is I want to remove these rods. These rods go through the cylinder head and attach the um, cylinder head. But anyhow, these guys would not come out. So last night I figured out how to do it. I removed one, and I wanted to quickly show how I did it. Um, so I don't need that anymore. I tried several techniques. None of them really worked. And finally, I did not have uh, nuts to fit these threads. So I am going to have to use, uh, and I figured I'll destroy one of them, and that's okay. I use the 12-point uh, nuts. They're like special 12-point uh, nuts that came with it. And what I did was I put two, as you can see. I put one on the bottom and then one on the top. There's a washer in there, but that's okay. Uh, the one on the bottom is going to be my sacrificial nut because I'm, I'm attaching, I'm hooking. Because it's a, a, a 12 point or 13 point fastener, I can't get a wrench on it. So I have to use vice grips. And that's why it's going to be a sacrificial one and I'll use it for all of them because I'm boogering up those uh, points. But basically what I did is I put one on the bottom and then I put one on the top counter i'm holding the top nut in so that i don't spin the bottom one off and there we go yep see that that loosened that got me to loosen the entire rod all right number two i won't bore the video with getting the others off but i'll take all the others off in the same technique as i take this one off i wanted to mention a couple observations um, and I'll show that. Yeah, so. Yes, because I use vice grips on this guy, it definitely boogered it up. So that was a sacrificial nut. Um, okay, one observation is as I took these uh, rods out, boy, I can smell oil. It's very uh, poignant. I mean, it's. Uh, it's very strong, so uh, yeah, I can smell oil big time. The second observation is the, all of these rods have two lengths of threads. They have a short section here that goes down into the engine block, and then they have a longer thread that goes up through the cylinder head. The other observation is the length of them. Uh, there's four on the aft side of the engine that near the firewall that are longer than the four that are on the front side or five, however many there are. I think one of these was already out. So, but you can see the difference in the length. And in both cases, even the ones on the aft side have a short link thread uh, that goes into the engine block and a longer thread that sticks up through the block cylinder. Anyhow, just an observation, wanted to mention. All right, this is the point. Um, if you can see down here below the engine, I used packing material that came in um, previous mini spares uh, shipping boxes. They give you ton of that corrugated cardboard. So I put that down to catch any oil that I know is gonna fall out. But now I get to spin it, turn it over, and to access the bolts. And uh, let's see uh, how it goes. Let's see. Can you st stand there, put your foot here, push, push towards me? No, 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 stand there, push towards me okay. um, on that. Yeah, because I don't want this thing to roll. It's going to roll. Okay. All right. Well, it's in good, good enough. Thank you. Right. Are you going to eat dinner or no? Yeah. Holy moly. All right, that was a workout. The weight of the engine wanted to slide 
backwards and the, the alignment hole to lock it from turning moved and the rollers on the engine stand were moving so I had to get my wife out here to help and as you can tell I'm out of breath holy moly all right on the forward side of the engine there are six of these bolts they are all three-eighths of an inch it's too shallow in this way I can't get a socket in there so I'm gonna have to do it the manual the manual way try to keep the stand from rolling on the aft side of the engine we have one two three four three eighths and two seven sixteenths and and these two in here look they're nuts on top of um a threaded stud or something Another observation on the front side of the engine, five of these bolts, one, two, three, four, five, were all exactly the same length. They were the longer bolt. Then there's one on the front of the engine here in the corner that was shorter. It was short like uh, the ones on the aft side of the engine. Here, let me see if I can show you the length. Um, yeah, it was a little bit shorter here on the corner. It's time to separate the gearbox from the engine block. And right in here is where I understand is a good uh, location to pry. Uh, when the uh, main gear came off, there was another gear to pull that off. And then right in here um, between, I think it's called a cap, a cap and the flat the flat part of this um, gearbox housing. I guess this is a way now I'm going to try. I don't know exactly where to get in here, but all I want to do is try to break the seal of the gasket between gearbox and engine block. Oh, there she goes. On the front side, she's, she's now separated. Now I understand too that it's going to be back heavy because of this gear structure here. So when I lift it, hopefully I can do it by myself, but when I lift it, you know, I, I expect it to be back heavy. I don't know how heavy it's going to be. Of course, I know I have to lift it up over these studs. So let's give it a go. Of course, I'm also short. So <laughs> How do you grab it? Where do you grab it? Okay, there she comes. All right, there was kind of an alignment pin right here on this side, but she's off. She didn't feel terribly heavy, so now I'm going to try to just lift it down onto the ground here. Hmm. Hopefully, I can do that without busting my toe, because I'm in flip-flops. Okay. Hey, hey! Success! Woohoo! This is literally my first time seeing the inside of an engine like this, especially a mini engine. So there's the engine block side, and here's the gearbox side. Honestly, I had to ask if when I pulled this gearbox up and off the block, if things were going to fall apart, because um, I didn't know. But look at there. All right, task complete. And you know what? I owe it to two people. One, I owe it to Paul Robinson and another to Kevin Richardson with a, for a gentleman's motor racing team. And it's because these guys, can tend, they tend to do stuff on their lunch break and before they even go to work in the morning. I, and the, for the love of God, I don't know how they do it. Um, so they're very inspiring. They manage to get things, even small things done in a short amount of time. 
So, and anyhow, which forced me to come home after work when I was already tired and I decided, you know what, let's do something small. Let's just try to take this block off and uh, here we are. So thank you, Paul Robinson. Thank you, Kevin Richardson, if y'all happen to see this video. But uh, here we are, two observations though. One, I believe this is the alignment studs for when you put the, the engine block back on or vice versa, the gearbox back on. This one is solid. This one's hollow. It's like tubular on this side. And then of course, these two threaded studs. I don't know if that's a common uh, deal with with these with this engine block is is that common? I'd love to know if somebody wanted to educate me and um, Yeah, so task done. Uh, I feel a little bit uh, accomplished and uh, now I've just got to figure out what's next All right. Bye just now